So I'll tell you what I did today. So I... Okay, I think I can walk around with a mask. So I walk... So I flew here. I made $9,000 yesterday on a small account, dude. This counts like $35,000 account, right? $35,000, $40,000 account. I made $9,000 yesterday, bucks. Just trained the first hour. I mean, I don't give a fuck. I mean, I don't give a fuck. Bitcoin's 100000 If Bitcoin goes to you, you're not going to be fucking rich. Who the fuck is putting a million dollars in the rich? And whoever has a million dollars is not buying this shit at 20000 They're way too intelligent for that. So, what does that come to, you guys? Come to there's no such shit as getting rich quick, man. You know, you want to get, you want to become an overnight success. You fucking work hard. It takes, takes you a fucking. If you're lucky, it takes you fucking only one decade to become an overnight success. Oh shit! Welcome to Miami. Fuck, I'm gonna fucking see some guy, fucking get slaughtered on the streets. So I'm going to be very quick, guys. Life by design. It's the reason I want to do this Instagram live because, dude, Alice and I never, ever take a vacation. This is a very rare that we take a vacation and we end up in the same spot, right? <laughs> well, it was pretty funny yesterday. So if you have not seen it, go subscribe to Alex's Instagram as well as my Instagram. We posted a ton of stuff. So if you guys want to see what, what, what we're doing, how we're messing around in Miami, go follow us on our Instagram live guys okay modern underscore rock and then Alex okay you know where to go so I just want to make it real quick guys you know you, we do these things because we want to motivate you we don't do this stuff to show off I mean what the fuck am I showing off I'm not wearing no Gucci belt and shit right I what well, you know what I like to show off I like to show off the fact that we have freedom that we do what the fuck we want to do and we enjoy our life okay I posted onto Instagram I posted onto Instagram, you know, that money is not the goal. Money is not the goal, guys. Freedom is the goal. Money is just a tool to get you the freedom, okay? Just remember that. And so whatever you do, life by design. So being this, everybody has a skill set. Everybody has a something they're good at. I call that finding your niche. Same thing with day trading, right? Finding your niche. You know, like for me, I'll give you a very quick example. Those that know me for a while, I talk about this often. I was an engineer, but no way I could compete with some of these fucking nerdy engineers that don't party, that study all day and night while I'm getting drunk. And so I found my niche. My niche was to articulate complex things in a way that people understood. Same thing with day trading stocks, right? So that's why I'm a natural, I guess, mentor, educator. So I found my niche. I didn't need to compete with anybody. You know, you can have the best program in the world, but if they cannot speak to a sick executive to sell their goods. So I went to software sales and now we're doing <laughs> same type of sales, you know, education, stock market. And in order to be a good mentor, you need to also be knowledgeable of the subject matter. So all of you guys are knowledgeable, but you're not the best. No one's the best at everything, right? There's very few people that can say they're the best. But you know what, man? I do overall pretty darn good. In terms of education, teaching people, you know, Alex and myself have mentored tons of people. And so we want to give back a positivity, kind of like today. Today, I didn't really want to do anything. I'm, we're on vacation, but the fact that Alex and I are on vacation, that's life by design. We chose to come and meet up in Miami. We said to ourselves, you know what, man? How do we get to the point where we get to travel and meet each other and still help people? So I, you know what, man, I, I woke up today at 6 a.m. on vacation, you know, research, made my plan of attack and executed within the first half an hour I was done. Within the first half an hour to one hour I was done trading just like Alex, you know, I was up three grand. You know, that's not fucking huge money, but every fucking day, if you can do that, that's pretty good. You know, no stress, supplement your income, things like that. That's basically life by design. At my stage right now, I'm not going to sit... I just need to trade, trade, trade 24 seven. No, I do this as an education, life by design. We are very blessed, like Alex says, do we wanna give back? And that's why we do these daily walks. People go, people used to laugh at us. Remember, like what the fuck, these guys are walking around with a selfie stick. 
They're used to laugh at us. We used to do meetups. Now people want to do meetups. They're, people want to do webinars. No one did a webinar before. We do one. We do three or four a week, guys. And today, Wednesday, Tosh is doing a webinar too. 2 p.m. market time, guys. 2 p.m. market time. You know, so those are the type of things. So it's basically life by design. It's basically working your fucking ass off, designing your life to get to the point where you can enjoy it. We still work, guys. It's not like I'm not fucking working, right? But for but jobs are very different. When you define work, it's very different. I enjoy my work. We may call it work, but I look forward to this shit every day. I'm on vacation. Alex is on vacation. We, but we both woke up at 6 a.m. today to help members, to formulate the plan, worked, made our fucking money. Now we can enjoy the rest of the day, guilt-free. Trading doesn't have to be a full-time job for you. Supplement your income, guys. And like I said, $200 a day is life-changing. Okay? A lot of these guys, we are in Miami, the city full of food. I don't know how they made the money. It doesn't fucking matter. But you know, perception means everything. And then I'm walking around looking like a bum. <laughs> Alex looks like, you know, you know, very unassuming as well. And so, you know, that's a, that's the sort of people we are. So, you know, when you make it, guys, to be honest, I'm telling you, when you make it, there's really no need to show off. You just basically... Money, what money does is it exaggerates or gives you more of the person you are. If you're a kind-hearted person, it just gives you an opportunity to be even more kind. If you're a fucking douchebag, more money is going to make you even a bigger douchebag. As simple as that, guys. So, step one, acclimate yourself, surround yourself with the right individuals. You know, I surround myself with Alex, Tosh, all the good guys at MIC. You're constantly hanging around with guys that that are up to no good, you will end up up to no good. So step one, guys, you want to change your fucking life. Change your surroundings. And you know what, when we started MIC, I, I told everybody this is the country club for the everyday man, guys. Where the fuck can you meet a multimillionaire and they're talking to you and giving you advice. You know, we don't look like it, but we do. Knock on wood, we do quite well. You know, where the fuck can you rub el elbows and hang out at meetups and talk to people and give you advice? You're walking with me. You think any of this for you? Yeah. So take this opportunity, because you know, this opportunity doesn't last very long. I don't know how long I want to keep doing this. You know, I, I want to I wanna pass on to just disappear, guys. To be honest, I'd rather be sleeping, but I love doing this shit. When I see my work, I will retire when I see everybody start, as many people as I see, using the most successful trader. It's not about being a successful trader for money. Like I said, money is a tool, guys. When I see many people helping other people become free, that's life by design, dude. I designed this fucking life, and you can too, guys. You know, it doesn't take overnight. There's no such thing as a free lunch. Unless you're baby, unless you hang out with Alex and I, we give away free lunches all the fucking time with no expectations. But you know that's good. We, we we can do that. We're able to do that. We're blessed to do that. So today, guys, the first step is to change your life by doing something you never did. You know, fucking getting to Instagram Live right now and, and listening to to this weird old guy talk about nonsense, right? But the shit I'm talking about makes sense. So today, Tosh's 2 p.m. webinar. Come and check it out. And we would like to ask one thing, you know, if we, if we want to play the douchebag game of Instagram and shit, can you just give us a bunch of likes? Follow us on YouTube, a bunch of likes on the videos you watch. Every time you see a fucking video we post, just click on like. It helps us tremendously to keep this shit free. Same thing with Instagram. Follow us, follow Alex, follow myself. Just click on our fuck. It doesn't hurt to fucking spend 30 seconds to click on our fucking like button, right? But what that does is... Same thing with Twitter. I was like, fuck, dude. I post charts every day. Nobody likes that shit. You know, sometimes as a human being, we still like to feel feel like we're wanted, guys. Seriously. Likes, people, oh, likes don't mean anything. But you know what? We're still human beings. We, we still like to see that shit. And when we don't start to see it, we start thinking we're not appreciated and we just stop doing it. And the last thing you want to do is for us to stop giving you free education, guys. 
And so, you know, all we ask is just click it likes because what happens is this. It helps us grow. It helps other people see it. And it helps yourself, guys. Because the more good people, you rather have us dominate the educational space than a bunch of scammers. Seriously, dude. You know, the guys at MIC knows. Look at this. Who would do a live feed, no filters, they'd be overrun by trolls. We don't get trolled. I'm walking around. I'm showing you guys where I fucking walk. Around. I'm not getting jumped. I have no fear at all because we don't scam anybody. You know, we actually help people. You know how many people ask me to buy me lunch, to buy me dinner, to buy me drinks? But I, that's, I just, I just, like, times like this, I want to be alone and just kind of chill and be a normal human being. You know, that's the difference between us and the scammers. The scammers are afraid to walk around because they're going to get jumped. We are afraid to walk around because we. I'll buy the shop of the bar, you know? And so that's what it is, guys. So the first step. Saran, have a vision board. People think that's bullshit, but that's not bullshit. If you think positive all the time, be positive. All right, guys, I'm beautiful. This is. When I reached or around the world, I like doing these things too because, you know what, man? We, we get to. Travel and you guys will see everything around. And my fat ass eating too much, so it's good to look, look how beautiful this shit is, man. Life by design, guys. Fuck, this hotel wasn't that much, it was like 200 bucks plus taxes a day. I made enough to stay here an entire month. You, how many of you guys can make? When you make a thousand, you want to make five thousand. You make ten thousand, you want to make a hundred thousand. You know, supplement your. Income, guys, is boss steps. You play a video game, you don't just fight the boss right away. You have to level up. Collect collect your fucking points. Experience points. So you can go from level one to level ten. But don't but just remember, dude, I'm at level 99. Thousand I'm chasing. I am. Oh shit, it's a giant rock. Oh my god, is that a seal? No, it's Walrus. a manatee. Oh, the manatee. Holy shit. They're super gentle. They, they don't eat other things. Manatee. That is my spirit animal. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I have a feeling. That and, and Wagyu. <laughs> oh, guys, look at this. We're at the water and there's a manatee, dude. You rich? <laughs> Can't call it manatee. It's the gender neutral tea. Just, just a tea. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> That's fucking cool. Connection is gone. You, did you guys see the manatee? Should I come back? The wagyu is my spirit animal next to the manatee. The manatee, guys. 
the PC patrol police is gonna get me. All right, guys, I'm gonna bring one person on just to say hi. What's up, guys? Anybody wanna come on just to say hi? Let me, uh, let me bring fucking Harry on. This is the night and day weather from Canada. Yo, What's up, brother? Boys, what? That's crazy. <laughs> did you see that man? Yeah, I did. Fuck, I look at it. What the fuck they look like? A giant rock? This is a fucking man. Look how hey, rough so I look right now, bro. Holy shit. Hey, you got a haircut. That's good. Yeah. Hey, so, so how cold is it up where you are, man? Tell people where you are and who you are. Uh, I'm Harry. Um, I'm a mod in MIC. Wait, tell your tell your name, not how much body skin hair you had. You're oh, Harry? can you hear me? <laughs> I'm joking. I said you're like I'm Harry. I'm, yeah. I'm hairless. I'm hairless. Yeah, I'm Harry. It's like I'm I'm pretty sure it might be like minus one, like zero degrees right now Celsius. Wow. So I don't know what that is. And uh, is it snowing? Uh no. It's there's actually no snow here. Here, I'll just can I flip it? You can do whatever you want, brother. This is my backyard right now. Oh, I moved you. in with my parents for the pandemic, and there's, like, no snow at all. Wait, but it's, like, zero degrees? Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, no snow at all, just zero. Oh, man. It's hot here, dude. It's so hot, the camera lens is getting humidity right now. Yeah. Woo! It's, like, 80 degrees over in Florida. Is this fucking shit nice, bro? Look at this shit. I know. It's, it's so nice. Oh, how much, brother? How much for a visa? <laughs> um, <laughs> bro, I know. I know. I was like, I la well, actually, like yesterday, I was like looking like to see where I could like move to that's hot. Because like, I mean, <laughs> Canada. <Too hot>. <laughs> yeah, hey, Harry. Yeah, so, bro. so I brought you on because the topic of the day is life by design. Yeah. And I, and I know mm -hmm. your, your life by design, how you set up your life. Yeah, bro. Um, well, basically, kind of like, I started trading like a long time ago when I was like in high school. And like, basically how I started was I started like buying these OTC breakouts. But like, I also kind of looked around at my own life and saw the path that kind of some of my friends were going down. And like, it wasn't really great. Like, I mean, like where I live in Canada, like, like, there are some like good jobs that you can get. But like a lot of my friends, like, kind of went into trade school like a lot of my friends now like are really kind of drinking a lot don't really have a purpose like don't really have like necessarily like a steady job yet because I mean I'm only 21 right so a lot of my friends have like kind of jobs like that and like I kind of said to myself when I was little like you know I didn't ever want to like work in trades but like I didn't also like really want to be a doctor or a lawyer or anything like that I knew that I wanted to go into business and like every kid in like elementary school watches like Wolf of Wall Street, sees this crazy life, sees this crazy guy, you know, who made all his money off the markets. And I was like, man, that's what I got to do. That's what I got to do. You know, I got to get into trading. And so like, I kind of, you know, started. kind of getting into trading when I was like super little after that movie came out and I ended up actually really liking it a lot not even for like necessarily the money, anything like that hello I think Harry's dead I did guys <laughs> what? I can you hear Harry. me bro I, I'm, I'm still here can you I'm hear me? Here. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, I can hear you. Okay, yeah. Okay. I don't know where how, or how much you guys got in that. But anyway, basically, yeah, I ended up going to university. And I'm pretty sure, like, I'm pretty sure, I, I'm not sure when MIC came out in, in relation to, like, university. But, like, um, I don't know, like, um, I, I definitely, I remember the first like IG lives and stuff like that. And I was like, man, 
like I, I just like loved your mindset and the way that you kind of went about things. And like, I remember like seeing some stuff like that. And I was like, man, like these guys are awesome. Like these guys are pretty sick. And I believe that we talked on Twitter like a little bit before that, I think. Yep. Yep. We knew each other back from Twitter. And so anyway, I was just like kind of watching the IG lives and I went to like first year university and I had like a lot of time in university and like that was kind of a blessing and a curse. And like when I was in university, I kind of started becoming like consistently profitable as well. So I kind of was like faced with this dilemma where like I was consistently profitable and I was starting to have a little bit too much free time in trading. And I was also like living in like, you know, pretty decent apartment. And so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to party. Like, you know, like I would trade in the morning. I would party. I would drink like it like was not like a, great, you know, lifestyle or anything like that by any stretch. And um, I don't know. I guess I had like a talk with Alex like a while ago. And Alex was like, bro, you just got to stop being an alcoholic, you know? Like, <laughs> That's the same there's more. That he had with me. <laughs> you know, he's like, bro, like, I know you're young. I know that, that you want to party, but like, you know, you got to. And like, I was also, the problem is, is that like, I think when you have like a vision and a goal, and then like you kind of start to hit, hit it and start to get there, you want to like celebrate a little bit. And that's kind of what happened with me, whereas, like, I was, like, you know, starting to be consistent. Like, I was shorting. I was longing. And, like, I was making good money. And so I was, like, oh, I can just, you know, drink or I could just do whatever. I'd be coming into the chat hungover. I'm pretty sure Joe almost banned me at one point. Like, <laughs> oh, dude, you, you like, were almost banned many times. <laughs> yeah. Like, I was almost banned so many times, like, literally. But, like, I basically kind of had a talk with Alex where, like, I, I kind of even like had a talk with myself where I was like, listen, you know, I got to, I got to stop doing this shit. I got to just, you know, keep working on trading. You know, I, I had like almost like a little like break or like a little like celebration period, but I was like, listen, I got to keep, you know, working, got to keep working. And, um, basically my third year university, like going into like the pandemic, I was like, listen, you know, I was already making some good money and I, I like, I even talked to some of my professors and they were like, we don't really know why you're here at this point. You know, I had good marks and stuff like that as well. And so I kind of dropped out my third year. And um, we can't see your pandemic... face, bro. We can't see your face. Oh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> okay. sorry. And as the, as the pandemic started to come, um, you know, I didn't want to be alone in like my apartment either. So I just came home, came back with my parents. And now... Uh, after the pandemic's over, I think I'm going to like buy a house. I'm not sure if I'm going to buy a house here or buy a house somewhere else. It's still kind of up for debate. But, and you are um, 21, bro. That's impressive. I'm 21, you, yeah. I am giving you a clap right now, guys. Guys, everyone give Harry a clap because this is life by design. When I met Harry, he was, he was like, yeah, 18, 19, I remember. He was drunk because he was the guy that was drunk with me. Yeah, I remember, bro. me and you used to be drunk. And yeah. we changed our whole life around, bro. Because you know what, yeah. man? We, we didn't know what we were doing. We were very bored with our life. For, yeah. a 20, for a 19, 20 year old kid, you were very successful. You told me you paid your way through college by yep. day trading. Yep. So you, you, at that age, hit your, your kind of semi peak for a yeah. person at that age. I know. And, and so, yeah. And so this is, you know, so I, we always say, you know, MIT, we started a bunch of, misfits and somehow we made it work guys yeah yeah you me know, and Bao we... had that same that same talk where it's like like me and Bao were even going through some of the old messages in like 2018 2017 of like like me drunk texting Bao being like yo what's <laughs> up or like responding to a story and then we'd end up like being super drunk with like nothing to do just ranting about these like random things like oh my god that's so messed up and it, it wouldn't even necessarily be trading it related we'd just be going off about like random ideas and topics but i'd say now like where i am now is like kind of like knock on wood as alex always says because like every time i say anything to alex he's like knock on wood i'm like oh shit yeah remember that and um i think now is probably like like, I know more now than I ever have before. Like, I feel like my commentary in MIC now is, like, 100% better than it was before, you know? Wait, wait till even next year. You're like, holy shit, I didn't know anything now. You yeah, know, I know. So You learn every like, fucking day. Yeah. It's like the game is infinite. You just got to keep going. 
And I can't wait for the next meetup because like there was a meetup. There's also been like some random health problems that have happened to me too along the way. Like I had this hernia and I couldn't even walk. The last IG live I was on like last year. I remember I had this hernia, couldn't even walk. And like, I was literally like shaking. I was in so much pain and I was like trading every day, but like it hurt so bad. That, that was when you were drinking and just numb the pain, man. I remember. Yeah. Yeah, bro. I was, I would message back and be like, man, this hurts so bad. I'm just getting drunk. And so, yeah, I, I mean, now I, I really don't drink as much. I mean, like, you know, my life has really been just like, you know, ch chatting with like MIC members, talking with a bunch of people, um, trading every day. Um, even my friend group, we've stopped, like my friends outside of trading have like stopped drinking as much as well. And there's some people around where I live, they're, they're away at university right now. But like, I think that maybe this summer, like if I buy a house around here, like they, they said like they might like move in, join MIC. And like, um, these are people who have like, you know, been interested in trading for a while. They've been in MIC before actually. And, um, you know, maybe I might just like teach those guys as well, like at my house, you know, and like, we'll have like MIC going all the MIC flags and stuff like that. And um, yeah, I might do that. That might be my plan for the next couple of years. So Dude, I, mean, I don't still, really I, know. Hey, congrats guys. I, I love hearing this story. Cause you know what guys, you guys are, you guys can all do it. If Al, I mean, if Alex, myself, Harry did it and yeah. we, were in, we were in dark places, man, in our lives. Right. So you just kind of, First step was you surrounded by yourself with good people. Harry, that's what it yeah. was. You know, yeah, we were very exactly. fortunate. To, we were very fortunate to meet one another, to meet the people inside of MIC who basically, you know, change our lives. You know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 100%. And that's, the, and that's the first step, guys. The first step is to surround yourself with good quality people. And that's why yeah. we, this is kind of like our, you know, like, <laughs> this is us, like a Jehovah Witness going door to door and telling you, you can't be saved, guys. Life is not over, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah, I know. It, it's crazy. And, like, I mean, if I look at, like, where I was like, compared to, like, now, like, I'll take now any day of the week. Like, you know, like, being drunk on random weekdays. Like, you know, like, even though, like, I was consistent, I thought – the problem was that I thought once I would become consistent, like, all my other problems would go away. <laughs> That's the dream life and whatever. But, like, you realize that even though you're consistent, consistent is just having a – constant income you know but there's still going to be other life problems that add up along the way and i thought that those life problems wouldn't be there but once i kind of dealt with those dealt with the issues of myself you know even when even like along this journey you know there's always going to be some hiccups there's always going to be some problems along the way but once you kind of like drill down on your mental once you kind of drill down on like you know even going to the gym every day or working out every day or you know your health your mental like you, even like money and just once you kind of have everything you want relationships in all those areas, I think that that is the most important balance. Hey man, Jeff, I'm very proud of you, bro. You sound more mature than I ever sounded. <laughs> You're just 21. <laughs> I mean, so guys, that, that's, that's it all, man. So the first, I want to, I want to end this. I want to find a place to eat, but, um, Tosh's webinar, 2 PM. And then, um, that's how you change your life, guys. Change your life by meeting people that will help you change your life. Thank yeah. you, Harry. Agree. You, you, you have mentored so many people. You know, I mean, fuck, man, guys. Uh, give Harry a round of applause and thank him. Seriously, thank you, Harry. You no changed problem. a lot of lives, my friend. No and problem, we'll bro. See, we'll see you in the room. All right, All right guys. See I'm you guys. Out. See ya. All right, guys. All right, guys. There it is. That's life by design. And the two examples, a guy like myself, who's been fucking doing it forever, and a young, young, smart kid like Harry, who was an alcoholic, like many of us, he didn't have a direction, and found his way. So never too early and never too late, guys, you know, to change your life and do what the fuck you want to do, life by design. But it's not overnight, guys. There's no overnight success, okay?